Hello and welcome back. This is Ashkur Rafi once again. In this video, I'm going to answer a few of the mostly asked questions when it comes to starting freelance web design career with WordPress and Elementor. Recently, I have been receiving these questions from so many people from so many times randomly and now I'm going to answer all of these questions. First of all, thanks a lot to Wilfred who asked me all of these questions in one single email so that I'm being able to record this video to help you out. And here's the story. Wilfred watched some of the lessons of my free freelancing with WordPress and Elementor course which is available on my YouTube channel. He got the interest to start his freelance web design career with WordPress and Elementor but before he proceed he needs the answers of these questions. And to be honest when I was starting and when I was actually thinking to start providing freelance web design services to my clients I had these similar kind of questions. I was thinking like. Uh, to get into this freelance web design business, do I have to invest money and if yes, how much I have to invest? So if you are someone who is planning to provide web design with WordPress and Elementor, if you are a beginner and if you have got any one of these questions in your mind and you are looking for the answers, then please stick with this video. I am going to share the experience, share the information from my personal experience of uh, providing freelance web design services with WordPress and Elementor from last few months, okay? So now, let me get into the video. The first question which uh, Wilfred asked me is, do you own Elementor Pro? And from my experience of working and providing web design and landing page design services to my clients using Elementor free version and with Elementor Pro version, the answer is no. I don't own Elementor Pro license yet. Then you might going to ask then how I'm managing Elementor Pro based services. The clear answer is clients are providing me all the necessary tools that is required to make their project successful. Okay? It includes the Elementor Pro license as well. Now the second part as you can see if so is it compulsory for freelancers to have it? Okay, so he is asking about Elementor Pro. All right. So the answer is no. To get started, you don't need Elementor Pro license. But if you can have Elementor Pro license for 1000 websites, you will be able to offer extra benefits to your clients and it is going to open up so many opportunities for you for sure. So if you are getting some clients already and if you are planning to take your freelance web design business to the next level as I am thinking then go for it. Just simply purchase the Elementor Pro subscription which is going to help you out for sure a lot. And as I have just let you know that I don't have the Elementor Pro license yet but I am so serious because I am working with the clients and so far I have made a good amount of money and I am planning to take this business to the next level and I am enjoying. So this is the reason soon I am going to purchase Elementor Pro subscription and I am going to record a video covering how I am going for this for sure. Alright guys. So the quick answer and the clear answer is no you don't need Elementor Pro license to get started but if you can have Elementor Pro license it is going to help you get more opportunities than the other ones who doesn't have the license okay now let's go for the second question for a gig which says to create and design a website will the client pay for the domain name and hosting or we should pay for it so whatever cost it is coming along to complete a web design website design or landing page design for your clients clients are going to cover every cost coming up with the um, with the completion of the projects which includes the domain name and hosting so one thing that i would love to let you know you might going to encounter some clients who doesn't have tech savvy or tech knowledge uh, that much they might going to ask you for your help to help them get their domain name purchased hosting name purchased or set up everything other than that clients are going to provide you everything and either you are helping them with domain and hosting purchase or not they are going to pay everything which comes along with the costing part of creating and managing a web or wordpress website or whatever website it is so please don't worry about this and after that we have got how to deliver the final product to the client so so far i have worked on the projects and mostly i work on the client server either client provided me their control panels login details or their wordpress backends 
control uh, login details and i had to provide i had to work on their live server and after completing the work i had to send them a message or an email mentioning that i have completed working on their project and it's time to uh, review the work and if they find anything wrong and if they, if they feel like we'll be able to improve the website by adding up some more functionalities or information then they should provide me some feedback before they pay me the uh, other half so basically how it goes whenever i work with a client if it is on a marketplace like upwork then it is totally fine i simply don't ask for the any upfront but when i am getting any client from linkedin or from email or from my website then i ask them for a 50 percent upfront payment so whatever the budget is if the budget is 1000 us dollars i am asking them 500 us dollars upfront to get started working on the project so in this way i am not risking anything like if some client thinks or decides to um, make some fraudness or let's say uh, make some foolish stuff like they are not going to pay me then they are not going to pay me the other half which is completely fine because 500 is a good amount for a basic wordpress website and it depends on the budget actually or sorry the project how what is the project and what is the project length how long it is going to take and how much work and if would i have to um, do to complete the project and depending on this i charge for a website or for a landing page and always i ask them for the 50 percent upfront if i am working outside of any freelance marketplaces so basically how to deliver the final product to the client i simply send them an email or a message uh, to let them know that i have completed the work and if they find everything good they should send me the payment so that's the way how it works all right guys so these were the answers of these questions so i believe you have found this video and the answers helpful if you did please give this video a like share this video to help your friends and let me know if you have got any question by commenting below and subscribe to my channel to get more videos about wordpress elementor freelancing and everything related to wordpress and website designing okay so thank you so much for watching this video i have to see you in my next lessons have a good day bye bye